Hey, it's Alex the Boat Guy. We're down at the dock today checking out this little 2008 Campion. It's a Campion Explorer. It's called the 682 Sport Utility. So we'll take a little tour. This is the 2008 Campion. It's called Not On Call. It's a cuddy cabin version. The Sport Utility Explorer 682. So you do have this fabulous glassed in wheelhouse that uh, is three sided. You can stay dry while you're trolling. Fishing rod holders, there is one downrigger included and this fabulous little Yamaha 9.9 .9 four stroke. Taking a look at some of the features, there's this opening escape hatch for the forward cabin, which also provides ventilation. There's a decent little Delta anchor with chain and road. All stows away nicely up here on the bow. The primary feature on this vessel is the hard top with the three-sided glass enclosure and windshield wipers. It's a large accessible cockpit. Well laid out for fishing or cruising. Uh, stepping aboard the wheelhouse in the Campion here, uh, I'm six feet tall, so six foot two or six foot three headroom, so that's a fabulous option. Uh, take a little pan around, you can see we have the Lawrence fish finder, chart plotter, easily readable gauges, and dash panel here with the steering the radio and your two engine controls so we have the kicker control up a little higher here and the main engine control with tilt a little lower and taking a pan around now in the cockpit forward steering station and passenger area lots of light fabulous visibility everything at your fingertips and taking a look towards the stern now in the Campion 682, you have your fish wells down below the floor. You have live bait lockers here behind these seats. As well, you have the retractable engine lift hatch there. Access to your prawn puller here on the starboard side. And there's a downrigger mount on the port side as well as this access here to the transom. Transom access door for swimming, swimming ladder, fish wells on port and starboard, the aft end of the boat with pumps. As well, this boat has live bait wells, both behind the pilot seat as well as the passenger seat, both with pumps allowing you to flush your salt water in or out. And one of the fabulous features here is the salt water washdown pump. Uh, lots of high pressure there. I've used it to hose the cockpit out a few times. Very practical. Accessing the engine now. It is a Volvo V8 GM block. Volvo Penta 5.7 liter GXI freshwater cooled recently serviced also has a new belt and seawater pump and we'll do an engine start up here we have the blower Pretty quiet indeed, runs beautifully, starts perfectly.
Very smooth shifting. That's forward. I like being able to see these gauges right here. You have your RPM right in front of you, your boat speed right here, and uh, a little built-in depth gauge. That's really handy to have. And of course, all your temperatures, oil pressures up to 40, voltage, fuel, and the trim, as there are trim tabs on this boat. Kicker motor control. Independent control here, lower the motor. This is a throttle or a higher RPM. Push for choke. Nice little feature on the kicker is you have the handheld remote control. Heading on down below, it's a cutty cabin. It does make a double berth there. I have laid down, so it is over six feet. Uh, the cushions are all removable. And then on the port side here, you have this nice little galley. Butane stove and a sink. Always handy to have. A little sink. Water pressure works. A little stainless steel butane stove here. Single burner. By Primus. As well, what is boating without a fridge? Electric fridge. Nova Cool, perfect for a weekend, food and drinks. Runs off the boat power. Small little electrical control panels here. Uh, what is really nice too about this boat is that uh, when your engine is on, you have a bus heater. So you can have warm cabin heat coming down as well. If you have your cockpit enclosure on, some of that heat can run into the cockpit. And you have your main cabin lighting that works, your water pressure, that's your heater control for the bus heater, accessories, runs all these pumps, water pumps, etc. Now there is an autopilot button there. I'm not sure how that functions. We'll test it. And the other most important bonus aspect, a pump head. It's not completely enclosed, but it is hidden under this seat cushion here, and it does run into a tank. Extra features such as storage under each bunk. There is a table that does connect here, and it does come with quite a few accessories such as life jackets, fishing rods, prawn traps, crab traps, etc. Quite a few extra things here, such as the fishing net, uh, boxes of tackle. Uh, this is the canvas roof for the cockpit. Uh, there is a complete cockpit enclosure as well. Hey, thanks for joining Alex the Boat Guy this afternoon on this uh, nice little Campion. It's a fairly clean little boat, uh, runs very well. Uh, the hour is apparently very low. Uh, approximately 200 but we can't say until we've had it plugged into a computer uh, very low hours on that engine uh, it is a volvo outdrive as well so give us a ring let us know